This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is the latest in the hydrogen cell designs that I've put together and I'll be showing in the next four or five days. The system itself has six units. You're looking at three here. Each one of these contains 15 plates, eight by three inches. All the cells are surrounded by water, which is a cooling device, and each cell itself is connected together. So there's six of these cells together as one that makes up one unit, which I call the Liberty. There's a circulation system around the cells and another circulation system between the cells. So in other words, each one of these cells also is circulating the water with the electrolyte in it between the cells. So we have two pumps going here, one circulating the water around the cells, one circulating the, the electrolyte in the cell itself. All the tubes here, the majority of the tubes that you're looking at the top here are connected together. I can't tell you exactly how that works just yet. You see the electrodes here and there are two other types of electrodes that go here that you do not see. There's three on this system over here. All the electrodes can be controlled manually or with one switch. There's an electronic box that controls the electrode system so that there's always a continuous amount of current. There's also there's also one more cell that you do not see that all of these tubes are connected to. As you can see, it's a pretty large system. It's, it puts out a considerable amount of hydrogen. It does put out hydrogen and oxygen. I do not separate the two. In most applications, there is no need to separate the two. Again, this is called the Liberty and I've been working on this in the background. I've received a number of emails asking if I'm ever getting back to the hydrogen. I never really left the hydrogen system, but I've gone as far as I could go with the single cell system. And there are a lot of other things that need to be designed for the house to go along with the electrical system. I have received considerable amount of email asking about the cells if I'm going to show the outputs of them. I will be doing that also in the next few days. Most of the people that are buying the cells now are doing their own thing with it. The amount of hydrogen it puts out is enough to deal with and there are people combining them. The difference between this cell, the Liberty, and the Aaron cell is it's multiple. And since it is multiple cells, I decided it also needed a way of cooling down the system. Also in cooling down the system, you get a more average hydrogen output. Also, since all the cells are hooked together internally, meaning the electrolyte flows from one cell to the other, you also get an even flow. The reason I haven't shown you the plates on the inside is simply because I'm redoing them at this time but thought it was time to show you what was going on since a number of the emails are asking. The plates are stainless steel, the same type plates that I'm using on the Aaron cell and they can, can be combined together. 
the amount of amperage that the Liberty uses. Right now I'm going to keep on the side until it's finished and I'll show you how that works. I'm doing a lot of special tricks with the system to bring the amperage down and to bring the hydrogen production up. The Aaron cell already uses a couple of systems to bring the hydrogen system up in which if you look back in the videos you can see how that's done. The Liberty, which is this one, is not going to be sold in any other configuration. The amount that it'll be sold for is considerably more than anything else that I've gone on the web so far. There are people out there that are have already asked if they can use these systems on their trucks and as my standard answer has always been these are all test systems that I'm putting out whatever you do with them when you get them that is up to you all I'm doing is producing hydrogen 